Hey everybody, thank you all so much for joining me on today's video. So if you watched my video from last time, I talked about how to add multiple files to a single Etsy listing using Dropbox. There's another way that you can also do this, uh, and it's by using a zip file. I use zip files for these Instagram highlight covers. I just think it's a lot easier to do it that way than to use um, a Dropbox file for these highlight covers just because there's a lot of different files in it. So today I'm gonna to show you guys how to make an Etsy listing using a zip file instead of a Dropbox link. So if you are interested in learning more about how to make Etsy listings or how to basically start an Etsy store from scratch, that kind of thing, keep watching because I will be posting more videos like this in the future. So let's go ahead and get started. So I'm just gonna click on this listing right here. I'll scroll all the way down. And right here it says purplehighlights.zip. So this is a zip file. This was actually a lot easier to do than the Dropbox link. It kind of took me a while to get the hang of Dropbox. Um, not that Dropbox is bad, I still use it all the time, but um, the zip file is really easy as well. I already have Canva opened in this tab right here. So let me go down. I have so many folders of things. Um, let me go down to the Instagram highlight covers. So here are the desert colored highlight icons or highlight covers, whatever you want to call them. So I created these and instead of doing one file at a time, like going and opening up a new file and changing colors and all that, I just added a new page. So you would just hit this button. My computer's acting very slow today, so I do apologize for not being able to click on this right now. But to create a zip file, instead of creating lots of single different listings like I did for my Dropbox file, you just create everything into one file on Canva. So as you can see, there's multiple pages. Um, how many pages are there? Okay, there's 20 pages in this listing. So all you'll need to do once you get each page made. So let's see, I'll add another page. Actually, I'm going to make a copy of this just for this video and we'll rename it test copy one. So let's go ahead and go into this file. I will show you guys how to add another page. So this just duplicates the page. If you want to change the color of each page, you just highlight which one you want to change. We'll go with this one. And you can either pick colors that are already in this file. I have lots of different colors. <laughs> I create stuff all the time. If you want to create a brand new color that's not on here, we'll just, we'll go with this. That's a nice color. Okay, so once you get all the pages made, let's add another page, add another color. We'll go with that color. So I added two more pages to this file. You can add however many you want, it doesn't matter. So now I'm gonna hit download and I'm going to hit JPEG. The reason I hit JPEG instead of PNG is because when I do the PNG quotes, I've had multiple customers message me about not being able to use PNG files in their stories. I don't know if that's like an actual issue or not because I don't have any highlight covers on my Instagram, but um, I always hit JPEG, select all pages, and then download. So once you hit download, I'll show you exactly what to do. 
like I said, my computer's acting a little slower than normal today, so just bear with me. Okay, so let's go ahead and save this into downloads, format zip archive, don't change this, just hit save if it asks you. So now right here you'll see this zip file, testcopy1.zip. So what you'll need to do, we'll cancel this, if you want to put this zip file into a listing, I'll just show you real quick. I'll go to copy and then down here I'll mark that out. All you need to do is just drag it and drop it. That's it. That's a lot easier, like I said, than using the Dropbox links, just because you don't have to create a Word document and then there's no kind of questions about how to do it. Just make sure that if you use the zip file, you do include a picture in the listings about how to download it. Um, not everyone knows how to download zip files or use zip files. Same goes with Dropbox. So. This is the picture that I use in my listings to explain how to use the zip files, how to download the zip files. So that's basically it. Um, if you guys have any questions or anything about how to do the zip files, or if you're just kind of confused on it, uh, definitely drop a comment below. Also like and subscribe this video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel because like I said I will be posting more stuff like this in the future. Let me know what you would like to see on the next video. I have a lot of different ideas up my sleeve. I definitely want to hear from y'all so